hey thanks for watching if you're enjoying the content don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want me to play your deck on stream feel free to reach out contact information in the description below also i stream legacy live almost every day at twitch.tv slash unzmtg so come by and say hi it's time for some magic let's get to it the interface Ooh. has never changed never oh, mind it, it was a mulligan to five so, no no oh, and, and oh. no it was six. a mulligan to six they were on the yeah. play yeah yeah, yeah. The cards just disappeared, so I just assumed they went to the bottom because the highlighting was the same. That was the problem. There you go. See? So, I mean, it would have been, like, really scary if it was a mulligan to four, but this is totally fine, right? Mulligan to six. You got land, personal tutor, doomsday is on top. Now you're just looking to... Wait, you don't have a green source in the deck, so it's not actually going to happen. <laughs> Dream is dead, but you've got ponder. You can, like, find dark ritual and things like that. So there's a real chance that you could actually just pop off here. Do you think, like, if we went back, I don't know... 10 years ago, five years ago, that we would say that the one in a green future site card that would be played with the future shifted border would be Edge of Autumn instead of Tarmogoyf. Well, you're kind of blowing my mind right now. Uh, oh, Chad, like, kind of a crazy thing to think of. Okay, but it's Murktide region's fault. Right? Like, like, if Murktide gets banned, Tarmogoyf would definitely see play, right? Like, hello. arguably, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. You can still just play the real big fish. Like, you can just play Gurmag Angler. Yeah, there's Gurmag Angler, there's Sprite Dragon, there's a lot of alternatives. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Edge of Autumn, overplay. This is interesting. I don't know how I feel about this play. With the Ponder? No, the Volcanic and Passing, no Wasteland? Is that is that smooth? Is that, like, know. classy? I I wouldn't have done it. I also might Mulgan to five, but... Oh, okay, that's a good draw. Yeah, that's a good draw. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of this. I mean, oh, putting... wow, we get to do it. Value. Value. <laughs> this is cycling. <laughs> wait, wait, that's actually nice. All right, I'm going remember... to remember that one for like later, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you, you mean when Doomsday wins and you have to play Doomsday? You know what? I never said it, but now that I know it's not going to be death and taxes, I'm totally down to lock it. I'll play Doomsday. Dude, the other day I actually played the Grixis list that had like Bragavad and Dragon's Rage Channeler in the main deck, and that was kind of an exciting experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spelly Belly is another card, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's definitely replacements, and the deck would still be serviceable, so. Okay. All right, Brainstorm. Not so... really surprised by fetching an Underground Sea here. I, even though you're playing straight blue-black, like I don't know if you really can afford to just get the basic island here. And the reason I say that is because... Uh... Wait, the... They don't play Basic Island, right? They only play Volcanic Island? Yeah. So you would just get all your Underground Seas. Okay, sure. Uh, whatever it is. Even if you had like a non... Basically getting like a non-Black Source here is kind of critical because you've got Doomsday in hand and your real plan right now might just be to hardcast it. And so if that's the case, then, you know, you, you do definitely do want to make sure that you have the appropriate mana sources in play. Yeah. So another bobble. So another slow trip. So even though... All this wastelanding and stuff has been going on. It hasn't really been anything that applies pressure. What it has done, though, is it adds more cards to the graveyard, such that mm -hmm. a Murktide Regent can come down. So, still a lot needs to go right, though. I mean, Brainstorm's obviously the best draw, but it's not really coming together for, for Ryan. So, yeah, an interesting six-card hand. Definitely understand why they capped, but it's, it's tough. I mean, Lightning Bolt's not too good. Your Daze isn't too good. <laughs> Yeah, the big thing is no aggression, right? Like, I think if you even had one creature in play, then it would be fine, because then you could make Doomsday worse and worse and worse, right? That's the whole reason why this matchup is, like, so favored for Delver, is because as the Delver deck, or as the Doomsday deck, you do have to pay half your life total to resolve the card, right? So mm -hmm. if it just so happens that, you know, you're at six, you cast Doomsday, and then your opponent has Lightning Bolt in hand, that's really bad. That's that's the situation you're trying to avoid. And Delver is probably one of the more aggressive, like counter magic based decks in the format. So it's not it's like a pretty realistic sequence in here. You can see like drawing Scalding Tarn here, just like not what you want. Gut shot too, just like these are great cards in the Delver mirror. This ain't it though. Yeah, but still still has some time. I mean, um Jim is still very incentivized to play around days. Um Holding the Consider, which I think is a little bit interesting, but I do understand it. So, like, ideally on your Doomsday, maybe you can be a little bit more explosive and go off. Maybe you don't know exactly what you want. You'll accept both lands and spells for now. So, 
valuing the selection aspect of it versus just being able to churn through the deck a little bit faster, so not necessarily playing as many cantrips. Is that it? Do we have a game now? That was yeah. a good top deck. Would you say that was a key draw? Like a monkey draw? I'll give you credit. You get partial credit for that one. You get partial oh, credit for that for, one. For the key I, part, yeah. I I'm it. looking at you funny. I'll let you know that. Oh, wait, I can see you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, Raghavan going to attack in here, and uh, yeah, this is where things get really annoying. What does it hit? Um, well. Okay, that's actually a pretty good one for Monkey to hit here, but if it was like a cantrip of any sort, that would certainly be very obnoxious. Uh, wow, now I know whose side you're on. You said it was good for, for that. Well, I'm not biased. I literally don't know what you want me to say. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I am biased. Wait, I literally don't know what you want me to say. I'm just tired. I'm just, it's just like, you know, you know what it is. You know how it's it fine. Be. Yeah, we're, we're like eight hours in or something, so that's fine. Yeah, my, uh, the true Anu finally comes out. This is the alternative. Unfiltered. Just getting... Unfiltered yeah, exactly. Anu right here. Uh, so what is this? Okay, we're actually... Doom! Nice. So, so I, I do think... So do you push? Doomsday. No push! That's... I feel like I would. I think so too, right? But, so, so anyhow, if that Doomsday resolved, it's actually really interesting how you build the pile with Ragavan, but what you could probably do is you just put like another Edge of Autumn or some sort of like normal cycle card that doesn't matter for them, but matters sure. for you. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems like it could make it really complicated where, like, what if they just don't attack with Ragavan? It's like, actually, that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, dashing Ragavan is the hardest part of the deck, huh? Okay, cool. Dash it in one more time. Bolt, gut shot in the hand. So that's going to put uh, Jim down to 14. Divide that by two is seven. Three, three, and one. Three plus three plus one is seven. Yeah, so another lightning bolt off the top would be. Uh, enough to end the game post Doomsday, but it looks like Jim has actually that Force of Will, which is going to be helpful. And y I think as long as it's going to be close, right? It's going to be somewhat close. Oh, that's... wow. Deep analysis. That's not the card you really want to see, right? <gasps> oh, no. Maybe we should have Force of Will. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? This is max punishment right now for um for not doing the thing. But I guess, okay, shuffling the deck here, personal tutor. Eh. This card is super expensive, and now I guess we see why, because it, it just does it all, right? Personal finds, tutor? Finds your combo card, finds your shuffles your deck. Honestly, it's pretty goaded. Personal tutor, oh, Magic Online's not worth a lot, right? Is it? Oh, snap. Uh, it's not worth a lot on Magic Online, but I feel like it's a couple hundred bucks in paper. Oh, uh, because it was only in Portal Second Age or whatever? I'm surprised you know that, and I'm very impressed as well. Also, Wait, wait it might be Third that. Age. I, I don't actually know. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Is. Uh, bad news. What did we put on top? Did we put a Doomsday on top? Oh, because we're going to draw it with the Street Wraith. Sure, sure. Still need to do the math, because then we go down to 10. Force. I was right. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't. Oh, damn. It was Portal Still. First Age. Darn it. It's only 80? Oh, what? Uh, I thought it was... Uh, I didn't realize it was okay. I thought it was more... Dark Ritual, that would have been... Pretty good. Dang. Would you give your opponent um, the ponder to draw a dark ritual there? Uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty pretty rough for us. Okay. It's not bad, but it's not great either. So they don't know about all the bolt effects, but... Okay, so leading off with the ponder. I'm going to be real honest with you. Ryan's draws were so bad this game. Like, like 5,000 mana sources. Not even like a Force of Will or something. Just the days. If this game goes down to like getting bolted out of the game, I'm going to be pretty sad. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so thinking about a little bit more, just sure. do doing my job here or whatever. I, I do think one consideration from Jim's side that so i'm trying to understand a little bit better the oh wow so i'm trying to understand a little bit letter, better the play of not force of willing and that's typically because you can just play the next doomsday right and the next doomsday should be fine and you can say like oh i got draw any fetch liner or whatever but it turns out that 
the two wastelands earlier paired off with two underground seas. So all your fetch lands do only find Volcanic Island now, so you actually don't have a third black source. That's not Lotus Petal. So with that information, I think you do have to force a will. But this if deck doesn't play four underground seas? No, it does. It's just two of them got wastelanded already. Uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, that makes sense then. Actually, I guess that's like another weird corner case scenario that I normally wouldn't think about. But right, so, it so, it's, so it's only Lotus Petal and Dark Ritual that get you there. Yeah. So I think with that, you have to force will. But if you saw an underground seas left in your deck, I understand a lot more why you're allowed to let the Doomsday get counter. Well, yeah, I agree too, because it's like you want to save the force will for post Doomsday so that you can just, like, you know, get freaky or whatever. Uh, especially in the face of like lightning bolt and things like that because i think at this point jim is probably deduced that like all right you're not casting threats you're not casting other creatures so what else... yeah exactly exactly right so like he's deduced that like either you have a bunch of forces in hand or triple lightning bolt gut shot right which at this point is literally enough to just win the game by itself yeah e so... either i can't win or i can't win yeah it's the bad end of the stick to be on and look at all these dazes right now they're just like Treasure token is literally laughing in Daze's face, so think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Very hard chat. Oh, cast that one, please. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That would make my day. That'd be a Swamp pretty sick block. flex. Uh, you can't block this. Oh, my goodness. Now, ponder. And, like, what would even have to happen here? Because, like, every time the attack step comes... Well, no, yeah, you can't even Doomsday now. Every Lightning Bolt has to be countered. So I think this is... Yeah, this is just it. Yeah. I still, I still can't believe we're not casting Street Wraith. <laughs> I mean, na na now we can't. I mean, there's all these dazes and stuff. But... Personal grievance to detect it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, fine. Him again. Time to fire up. That's so crazy, man. I mean, I think I think if Jim comes back to watch the VOD here, like, it's it's so crazy. Like, the decision-making was so reasonable to not, like, fight over the Doomsday. Fallout was just... Game-ending. Yeah, absolutely yeah, game-ending. It, 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 it just depends on the factors that we're considering. The Underground Sea is really the kicker for me, but if, if they forgot it, I definitely understand. Yeah. But, but, but it's tough. I mean, it's been a... So... We say it's been a long day for us, but we've been able to swap in and out of the booth. I have some candid behind-the-scenes pictures of Anu that I won't share with anyone else. But, Excuse you know. me, what? <laughs> it, it's just some great photos of Anurag just, like, eating while, like, Jeff and I are like, oh, my God, this is a really intense match, and he's just, like, like leaned back eating. But the, the, the players have been in the trenches this whole time. So, like, right. yeah, we have production. I mean, it's a lot harder for Anu than it is for me. All I do is talk the whole time. But, like... I do think it's hard. Like, the decision-making gets difficult, and we don't know what's going through the players' heads. Like, we're just doing our best to, like, justify and understand, uh, understand the plays. And th there could be a very reasonable, like, reason why that line, like, ha happened that way. And there's still cyborging. There's still more games to be had. And, you know, we we've seen both players play very well throughout all day, uh, throughout the matches all day today. And I'm really excited to see how game two and three goes. There's even more jockeying for position. One thing that's interesting is, like, how many lightning bolts do you leave in? Because you know that the life total matters for them to go off with Doomsday. So if you have a lightning bolt or two, you just let the Doomsday resolve and just off them. Like, you, you might be able to do it. So. Prediction is up, chat. This might be the last game of the tournament, so I better see everybody empty every single channel point. Even if you came here on Zan's Raid, you probably have 10. I better see that go in the pot. Everybody, all the whales out there, I got to know who you are right now. I see 15K. I see 10K. That's not enough. I want to see, like, six digits worth of uh, stuff here. You know Wait, what I'm saying? How, how much do I need to get you to play Death and Taxes? A million. A literal million. Because somebody wait. redeemed the 500,000 points one. So now I'm just like, Oh, well, wait, that's not fair. I have, like, 500 points. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So that means if I put all my 500 on one side and someone else takes the other side. You... Theoretically, there is some amount that you could do. Wow, literally nobody wants to vote for Doomsday. I think there's like only 20 points on the Doomsday side. So now I feel if 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 the Doomsday player actually wins this, there's gonna be some like wait, sick odds. Wait, it's like 50-50, right? That's what I see. Uh, I, I see, see 52 40, 48, but maybe it's just behind for me. Oh, that might be like the number of votes. I see. What am I looking at? Oh, this is the old one. What the hell? I don't want to see this. 
Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, two forty three versus two twenty one. Wait, hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. I, Just like pretty much fifty fifty. One. Yeah. I was looking at the wrong one. All right. Well, we're in the finals. Ryan's up a game. All right. So you can play. Uh, Cavern of Souls on Wraith, and then you can start attacking. Oh my no! <laughs> oh, his mental's boomed, everybody. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. Are you allowed to keep this hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So double threat. So Ryan's hand is just good. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a mulligan. Is it a mulligan? I gotta double check this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a mulligan. Six. Yeah, hold the six. Cool. Uh, and we're going to bin the Delver of Secrets, which to me is kind of a reasonable decision. 2021 has yep. basically, it's kind of weird, but the power creep in 2021 has made Delver of Secrets unplayable. Kind of interesting to think about, but turn one ponder here off uh, Underground Sea will be a good start for Jim. And you're looking for what? Just more things to get started. I mean, you want the Doomsday, maybe a Ritual, maybe another counter spell. E even just building up lands is fine. Mm -hmm. Was it a Shuffle? Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to check right now, but uh, we pick up a Scalding Turn off of it one way or another, and it uh, chooses to shuffle. Yeah, so it was, in fact, a shuffle. I do like valuing lands pretty highly here. Um, so picking up a Scalding Turn, they're not too bad, but now our hand is kind of like really mediocre. Okay, well, that's a good draw if I've seen one. Yeah, I was going to say it's really mediocre because we don't have selection, but... I really like this main phase Brainstorm. That's That's very, you know understanding legacy understanding the matchup there it's just like hey you can have pyroblast every time you do it it's terrible for me just get out there and you're n you're never forcing this brainstorm so yeah yeah th like the cost is too high for you to force it but it's um, so easy for you to pyro it what's the reason to not fire off the street wraith here uh street wraith is one of your best cards if you want to go off in the same turn okay that's good that's good because it know. doesn't cost the mana yeah and I think we can relate that to what we saw in game one, which was the same sort of thing where we didn't really fire. We kept the consider in our hand and things like that because we wanted to pop off on the same turn. And while it is um, a little bit more mana intensive to have Doomsday, Black, 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 plus like a consider with Street Wraith, you just pay two life and you're good to go. Actually, you know what? In this matchup... Run it back. Hard. Let's go. Yeah, right? This is uh, something else. All right. Brainstorm number two. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. So, no, so I love thing. brainstorm so much. People want to ban this though. Oh my god! So, Damn it. so another sure. thing, another thing is that street wraith also costs you life. I mean, your life total does matter quite a bit in this matchup. It's not free, uh, and you're not gaining something like you would with Gataxian Pro, but like knowledge of what you need to play around and stuff. But as far as I can tell, Jim's playing like they know what's in Ryan's hand already. So <laughs> pretty, Man. just pretty solid hand tripping here so far. Oh, I just realized this. So in terms of like the the prediction that's going on right now. Tartan has once again big moneyed it and has voted 100,000 points. Meanwhile, his opponent on the other side is Bean. Um, Bean 3-4 something something. Sorry, Bean. I, I got you on this one. Yeah, that, oh, my goodness. Well, I got to figure this out. And has bet 109,000. So I think uh, Bean 3-4-1, that's my favorite number, by the way. Is 3-4-1? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Is it because it's like pie but messed up? Did you just no. like, forget it growing up or something? It's a little bit more wholesome than that. I used to hate the number 341 because I saw it everywhere. And then oh, one really? day, yeah, one day I was just like, I don't like this attitude, so I'm just going to... Embrace it? Yeah, embrace it. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Court of Cunning is an interesting inclusion here in the sideboard. Um, yes. It makes it so that you can't do past the turn piles because you'll never, never lose the monarchy. If that makes sense. I mean, minimally drawing two every turn is very good. Also and then... that too, yeah. And then, does it mill four if you're the monarch? I forget how oh, many. No, it mills ten. It mills a whopping ten, ten? if you're the monarch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's when, kind of... when? On your upkeep? On your upkeep, yeah. So when I say pass the turn pile, what I mean is um, you go Dark Ritual, Doomsday, and then yeah, you yeah. don't continue there. You just pass the turn. Your opponent gets a turn, but generally speaking, you only do that when you're able to do it or if you're forced Doom! to do it. Nice. I like that. I like that. Um, But yeah, it's going to be... I also like waiting here, so that's good. Yep. No reason to jam into a daze. Especially if you have Fluster Store. Or, sorry, not Power, Power Blast in hand, yeah? Yeah. Do. Too free for the bean? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Spike's got good content, though. Um. Yeah, so Ponder is looking maybe for just, like, Dark Ritual and, like, a blue card. That would be a nice set of... Yeah. 
cards. Just just anything that lets go time be next turn. Oh. But really, this pyroblast. Okay. That is not what I was expecting. A single bit. I really hope Jim wins this game because I feel like Ryan's hand is set up pretty well and I feel like Jim has just executed well on every axis and I just mm -hmm. want to see a game three also. That, that's a big point too. Oh, actually, so now with the days, you don't even have to find the land. You could yep. just go... You, you just jam here. Oh, lotus and, petal. and the lotus petal too? Okay. It's happening. It's, happening. it's I want to see it. And this means that you have forcible post combo, so then you can draw consider, and you can just well, whoa. You don't necessarily have forcible post combo because you have to play a pre combo here. Maybe, maybe true. Maybe. What I was gonna say though is, is um, you're gonna go down to eight life here. There's actually a problem, right? So if you want to kill them next turn, so let's say like we do the stockpile, which is consider deep analysis lines at diamond, lotus petal, lotus petal. Problem is. Lion's Eye Diamond will make you sack your whole hand, which means you lose access to any protection. So I don't think that's an option here, which means it'll be a slower pile, which means that... I think it's well, like, like ideas wait, can't, can't you just, like... I mean, I'm not great at this deck or anything, but can't you just, like, edge, edge, that's his oracle, and then you have Pyroblast up? Uh, so you mean, like, edge, Street Wraith, Oracle... Uh, but then you would lose to Vindicate on the Oracle, right? Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> Dang, okay, okay. But, but how many did they have in? Well, that's a good point. And they've already used one, so, like, that's kind of a... Oh, uh, is there any way for them to put cards back in the deck? No Endurance or anything like that, right? So the Doomsday just resolves uncontested. Wow. All right, it's time to fight. Yeah. I don't know where this game is going. Okay, that's a lie. I have I have it like on the left side, like right here, because I'm also producing this stuff. But I refuse to look because this is like, this is like so much fun. Just like this is like part of the reason why like magic is so great, right? Like the hype, the intensity, the suspense. Oh my goodness! And imagine if this was like chess or something like that, right? Too like, oh my goodness, gotta fix my hair because that's how crazy this is. It looks good. You ready? Are you ready yeah. for what I'm about to say? All right. Doomsday. 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 Now we're going to figure out the pile. I'm so curious. Actually, I guess I could. Yeah, we should talk about potential piles, right? But I feel like that's yeah. like nth level calculus that's like above me. So Thassa's Oracle. Good call. If you think we've you seen Cavern of Souls, would you include that? If possible. If I can play Draw Spell. Okay. But I assume that my Lotus Petal's pairing off to play Pyroblast. Sure. So, and ideally want to go off next turn, because if they get Delirium, then I'm at 8. Uh, from the Doomsday, then I go to 5. And then if they just have one Lightning Bolt, it's not good. And I need to be able to beat Lightning Bolt on my Thassa's Oracle. So, I feel like we just need to be fast. Sure. You know, what I haven't actually talked about at this point yet is uh, what the prize support is. And so first place right now is a clean $400, second place 200 So these players are playing for a decent chunk of change on a Saturday about afternoon. How many, how many times they can sub or give back to the channel? Oh my God, that's like... Well, actually, Bezos gets money off of that, but like, you know, we're not... We're not here. I, he's probably like watching my channel from the moon being like, hey, watch what you say. Otherwise, you know, you know what I mean? But no, I think it's... Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, pay out to top sixteen as well. So like, you know, congrats to everybody who've made cash today. You guys, you guys are, you guys are pretty goaded. Uh, that's awesome. <clears throat> uh, so I see in the chat. I think a an ideas unbound pile with force plus blast, but that pile loses to surgical, and I think that's what's happening. Does that pile lose to surgical because? Don't you just draw everything off? Oh, you mean like surgical before you draw the ideas unbound? Okay, I see that. I see that. Yeah possible you please dutch stacks oh no don't say that to me please no, i don't want to hear that what is what is the difference between stacks and dutch stacks yeah also, I, I, i've actually never heard of dutch stacks wait is that even a magic deck because he lee typed it like cks instead of x and every time i've seen stacks i've always seen it with a with an x oh aka five color elementals oh my goodness that deck feels really close though Ned Leeds, that's a, that's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Wait, what's that? I don't know, it's just... 
uh, team tusk doing team tusk things. Dutch is white. Birdie is green. Oh, what's even happening? I don't know. We're waiting for this doomsday to resolve. It's a tough doomsday, man. I'm Wait, not I don't gonna... know what any of these words in chat mean. Aren't you, are you supposed to be like a legacy, like specialist? I mean, you are from everything I know, but no, I mean... it's naming convention. It's like the history. It's like a little bit of history there. Wait, there. no, I, I didn't know Dutch or Verdi. I haven't heard of either of those. Yeah, me neither, honestly, actually. But don't tell anybody that uh, between yeah. you and me. No, it's fine. You're allowed to roast me on your stream. Just wait no, 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 on my no. stream. <laughs> uh, uh, to be totally fair, I guess, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Wait, what is mono green stacks? Is it the Doomsday Pile resolve? It did. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We might or just back in move. session. Yeah, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. Um... I was thinking about you the other day. I, I was listening to some Ace Attorney music. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah. I love that. I haven't finished the uh, new one that recently came you, out. You, you played like the original ones though, right? Like the trilogy. Oh yeah, the trilogy the is so yeah. good. Third one is my favorite game. I need to send been... you an album later. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can also get that game music on Spotify too. It's just all in Japanese, so it's hard to search for. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, well, Torp actually... Orb. Dude! Are you serious? Well, so Torp Orb, you have to force it, and then you force back, and then Pyroblast. So that's so now it's just surgical versus the world, I think. Now it's just like head to head, the final battle. Can 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 Ryan actually top deck it out? And you've got like a, what is it called? Expressive iteration. So it's it's very reasonable. What a what a crazy freaking draw, man. Like like I don't understand. Like when when with those kind of draws, I just feel like Ryan's just destined to win this tournament. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. By sheer force of will. Contemplating maybe Well, like like there's some timing aspects. Like if I play the Torp Ward, then I can get Delirium the times it gets countered or something. Hmm. Oh, that's something cool that's happened to me uh, before. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen here, but you could technically, like, if there's like a brainstorm on the stack in the doomsday pile, let's say, like, you know, oh, yeah, you, from... you, you can shuffle the order. Yeah. And well, not even it... that. Like, if there's duplicate copies, you could technically turn the surgical into a lethal kill you because if you, mm. if you get lucky, if you get really, really lucky. I don't know if that's possible, but... I hear you. Okay, wait a minute. I'm a little bit confused. What? Never mind, I'm less confused. Force, pitching force. Okay, that makes sense. I thought that was the... I thought we were forcing the force instead of pyroblasting the force, but I'd misread the stack, so... <laughs> it's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's late for you. It's late for me. It's exactly 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m.? How? Yeah, it's fine. I skipped lunch and dinner to be here, pretty much. Oh, okay, I ate a little lunch, but... Okay. Oh, wait, but that means it's... Tomorrow, I'm going to eat like a king. Nice. That means but it's yeah. 10 p.m. for you right now, right? It is. Wow, that's late. Okay. But it's the ONZD Invitational. Woo! <laughs> okay, so that being said now, like, I mean, the surgical extraction does help a lot, but... But now feel... the Dragon's Rage Channeler is a 3-3. Three, three. That, that could be relevant. We're going to surgical the... now. Just screw up this turn. Reasonable. Oh, baby. Wait, and you can surgical pedal because pedal might be in one. No, that's actually worse for you. Well, you, you don't have to remove something that's in the deck. So you get to like, you can choose what you think is most likely in the deck. Yeah. And then you can look at the pile and see if you want it in the deck or not. Okay. So Surveil Trigger is on the stack now, empty-handed here for the Doomsday player, but that means they have a pile, and I guess we'll get to see the pile. Should I tell you the pile? I don't know. Yeah. I have, we haven't actually seen it just yet. Well, I don't uh, think it reveals the deck. You only search their deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So we'll see what it is. I mean, we can deduce, like, two of the cards, maybe Cavern of Souls and uh, something else. Doomsday right. math is always the hardest. Like, when your opponent, like, stays and you see their whole deck... Do we, are you the kind of person that would like try to figure out what's in their pile? Mm, depends on what the stakes are. It's a league at 11 p.m. at night. No, I wouldn't try to figure it out at all. It's the winning into the top eight of a PTQ. Am I qualified? For, I'm, I'm assuming I'm qualified for the Pro Tour. Like, okay, yes. Or no, I'm not qualified. Um, yeah, I'd probably try. Okay. That's nice. enough stakes for me. Like, like I, I don't care about, like, 
small monies or whatever. I, I care about like you know the, the big bucks and not even no, like no 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 like, like like the prestige like that's what I, I was saying yeah, that's I, what that's I, what I, I, I want to compete at like you know worlds and like big events and stuff. Yeah. So. Okay, so surgical. That's not bad. It's Be not bad, but it's also if you not draw that to Oracles next turn, you win. Ooh, runner runner wasteland would be crazy. I mean, it just comes down to next turn. It's either Thassa's Oracle or Bust, right? Uh, I. So 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 there there could be a cantrip if like there Consider. wasn't wasteland in the in the mix. But I'm saying that like with the wasteland, I think it just has to be Oracle or it's over. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is actually like super, super, super close here. So we found Wasteland off of the expressive iteration, which functionally does nothing. Um, down to one. Oh Ooh. my God. Wow. Okay. I have to know what was in the pile there, man. I have to know what was in the pile there. That is so crazy. Dude, oh my god. Wait a minute. We're going to game three. We're going to wait, game wait, get, three. Give me my bucks. I put I put my money on Doomsday. Damn it, I pressed the button again too. Okay, so we're gonna feature Craig S on Amulet Titan against Kong on Oh darn it. Oh my god. All right. Did the payout have it? Yeah, the the funny part was I bet on the wrong one by accident. I meant to bet on Delver, but then I already <laughs> clicked on Doomsday, so uh-huh, I see. You just know how the script is, right? So that's why it's going. All right, I'm going to put in one more for game. Oh, wait, do we, um, uh, what is this? Dismiss this message. Who will win game three chat? This is your turn to make Buku, but I'm, I'm not even kidding. We had 500,000 points in the system just now. So I, we at least need to do more than that. Okay. We at least need to do more than that. It's only 11 K. Yeah, think about getting to a million and making Anurag play Death and Taxes. Don't think about that. Think about me being able to see the poll and just like feeling something. You know what I mean? I wish I, I wish I had five hundred thousand points. Oh my god, no shot. Who did yes. it? Wait, Who did it? Yeah. Somebody, somebody it's, did it. Someone threw down some smackaroos. Oh I'm my trying god. Trying to figure wait, out wait, how wait, much wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna put on. Oh, I have fifteen seconds. All right, I'm gonna wait until the last second. Some optimal, you know, betting here. 785 tartan put up 250k again again Wait, dude. that's that, that's the person that gave me a sub there oh there yeah, what's yeah. up yeah good, good point good point yeah so you got a sub and then tartan put up to it but tartan also lost 100k so Wait, tartan is just clearly bankrolling that's not tight? fair it closed before i can enter that's oh fine. that's fine I, I i deserved it Wait. i was too busy trying to optimize i think this is our my first over 1 million channel point uh bet which is absolutely crazy because that game was really hype and there's enough stuff on stake here. I mean, like, let me let's be real here, right? Okay, we're gonna transition because I don't want to miss a drop of this, um, and I'm also gonna update this real quick. So it's uh, one one. Okay, cool. Are we good? I think we're good. Nice. But what I was gonna say was, um, there's uh, there's a decent wait, amount that, here, right? That was actually a really interesting mulligan by. Ryan, it was actually kind of close. So you had like some creature hand, but like you don't have much interaction or anything. But then you were rewarded by getting a torp orb. It was just like yeah. really interesting. And then <clears throat> Jim, sometimes you could like justify that hand, but really it's pretty mopey with chain of vapor and stuff. So, oh, both players on six. Yep. Okay. Dang. Wow, torpor orb plus force of will is like a real, real unfortunate. Well, that, that's what chain of vapor is in the deck. I see. Wow. You... You, can never, you can never break the chain. Double force? Let's go. Pyro! Okay, that's fine, I guess. Wait, do we have a second land? A shot, we kept the one without a second land. Choose us to shuffle the library. Wait, the ponder shuffled. The ponder, ponder shuffled. Shuffle. Ponder shuffled. The ponder freaking shuffled. Oh my god. Ryan, what kind of player are you? What kind of player are you? I need to see her right now. I, I can't wait until I start playing a bunch of Legacy again, and I just turn one land, ponder, shuffle, with like four lands in my hand just to get them to wasteland me. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I mean, Torporb's just so spicy, though. Wow, a lot of people in chat are saying just wasteland them here. I, I just jammed the... Yeah, I would jam the... Tor I, I'm scared. I would just I, jam I, the Torporb, you know? 
But you get to leave a pyroblast. That's like the upside. So like, yeah, I can see it either way. But like, Torp Orb's so good. It's oh. like that's an understatement. It's like really good. Chat one's blood, nice. I I'd play Torp Orb. Yeah. I take my lumps. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, there's the wasteland. That's the force play. Sure, click the Torp Orb. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so you probably pitch like. That's his oracle. Just get it all out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, you get to make like interesting piles when oracles in your hand though. Duh. Yeah, technically. I mean, your line side diamond piles are a lot worse, but you have to yeah, do this is very stuff. true. Unless you have like unearth or something, but I don't think it's unearth in this deck. I've seen it in lists before though. Orb loses the day's force. Okay, here's the first force. Wait, pitching oracle, right? Wait, no, he actually pitched the Oracle. I think there's only one Oracle on the list. No, there's one on the sideboard. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I was going to be like, what? That's, what? That's scary. I freaked out for just a second. I freaked out for I, a I, I, I saw the one in the main. I just forgot that they might sideboard another. Well, I mean, like, like you never know. Like, Doomsday players go back and forth on one or two, so it's not, not, not unreasonable to think that they only have the one. Damn. All right, so the Scry trigger, the Surveil trigger is going to resolve here. And then, uh... And force back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you get rid of, though? The brainstorm here? Oh, consider. I'd, okay. Consider. I'd, I'd, I'd get rid of the ponder. Ooh. Ponder? Yeah. I don't understand that one. Wait. Ponder's, like, really bad when you see one and sometimes two good cards and, like, a bad card. Oh, but, no. like, consider is just, like... Like, it's... I don't know. It seems pretty... Like, a streamlines your draw or whatever. Okay. This I'm is from the guy that thinks people aren't playing enough abundant harvests and legacy still, but you know. I I goes. actually ended up cutting mine too. We'll talk about that uh at some other time. But uh, man, Wolf, this is uh. Well, th this is pretty good. So you can set up a uh, Lion's Eye Diamond, and then you can brainstorm and sack the Lion's Eye Diamond to play Street Wraith, and then start attacking. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but on a true. more realistic note, if you end up knowing that you can have um, Doomsday on top of your deck, you can actually like do something cool there. Okay. Or you can like set aggressive. up a Doomsday. Well, here, if you can like set up like a cantrip with like Doomsday on top of your deck, you can actually like do maybe some interesting stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm, oh wow! And take take a look at that too. Time on the clock is also a factor as well. Mm, no. Not no. No. Okay. Not a factor. Five I, minutes though. I counter that unless you pay three. <laughs> well, it's it's no longer on the stack here, but like the clock is like in its current form, not very existent, right? Like. Yeah, I'm I'm not worried. Yeah, I mean we are surveilling a bunch of lands away. There's the doomsday. Okay. And then we just need to brainstorm it on top, and then we need to play another cantrip. It's happening, and then oh. we're gonna see surgical, and then you're gonna draw doomsday anyways. It's all scripted. I, I told Jeff the secret that when you do commentary, uh, you can actually just see the future. <laughs> I mean, here, do we do it? Do we just go full ham? Do we just go lion's eye diamond? Wait, no, if we do that, we lose the game on the spot to the surgical extraction, but it's like a thought worth entertaining, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, I that's I a really good it. line. You could surgical the underground seas. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. It's a really good... Uh... Really good thought process. It's hard there. because they could still just have like dark ritual, but I get it. It's fine. Yeah. It's probably more utility in your hand. Okay, so ponder. We have artifact. Oh, this is enough for delirium, right? Instant land. This will be artifact and then plus sorcery. I really so want whatever the result of this game in. Like once the result comes in, we end the prediction. I just want to see the DNT like cash in. The DNT cash and oh my yeah, god, no! Just I'm right like, away, do eight like like one million points. There's no way anybody can get that. I doubt that's actually happening. But now we're, yeah. Well, good thing you closed the poll before I put my points on Doomsday. Uh, <laughs> what is the surgical extraction targeting? It has to be underground scene now, right? Yeah, that might be it. I think we have a champion. I think we have a champion. I can see what it's targeting actually. Yeah, it's targeting the underground sea. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's targeting call. the underground sea. Oh man, and especially like with the the wasteland and seeing that they have no mana, 
it's a very easy play to uh to come by uh, i mean i didn't see it at first but now it just screams so much so much sense i think it's over oh man expressive iteration doesn't matter attack and turn sideways is there any one draw it would have to be no because deep analysis is turned off to ideas I'm okay yeah that's it ggs wow right. we have our champion of the second on zd invitational oh, looks ryan. Like it. yeah ryan winged hussar going to take this one i pressed the right button this time and ggs that's that's gonna be it friends delver wins again delver wins again in a balanced metagame where it's not taking over it just wins and wins and wins and doesn't lose all right, congratulations to Ryan, a.k.a. Winged Hussar, for winning this event. You win the grand prize of 400 bucks because that's all I can afford to give to first place, but it's not nothing. It's coming straight out of pocket here. Plus, like, you know, we did a couple things. We did the raid sponsorship, which everyone helped out with. We have the subs coming in. We have the ad revenue. We got the bits. We got the boots. We got all of it. Guys, uh, that is going to wrap it up here. Congratulations. Blue Red Delver wins again here. I'm going to see who's live right now because obviously one does not simply one does not simply stream and not send the send the love over. Well, well so know. anyhow, thank yeah. you for everyone joining today. Anrag puts a lot of time and energy into this. There's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes, day before, day of, lots of coordination on all of our parts. Uh, big thanks to Jeff White for joining us in the booth. Uh, we we think they did a great job, you know, pro probably, you know, might be a mainstay or something of the stuff, but but definitely, you know, friend of the stream, uh, give them a follow if you're not already at the real Pokemoki, I think, on on Twitter, I always always forget. But um, yeah, and you know, you could you could drop me a follow too. I might, I might, stream. Yeah. I, I, I say things sometimes I'm qualified for the eternal world championship, which is a different card game, Ooh. but I, I figured to sound close enough to legacy. So I still want to be like an eternal <laughs> master. So, you know, it's a 16 player tournament, best in the world, a uh, hundred or 150 K prize pool, I think. So it's actually like pretty big game. So yeah. wow. you can, uh, you can find me there. Um, and maybe I'll extreme, maybe some eternal or storybook brawl, or maybe a pioneer challenge or something like that. But um, you know, I'm, I'm always down to help out on rog and stuff. So I'm, I'm always glad to be on. And, um, but yeah, and, and thanks for all the chatters. Uh, it, I felt like we had a very active chat this time. I really like this. Would you rather start a lot of good conversations, made us remember some old cards, what the, what could have been, what can still happen. So that's, that's really awesome. And yeah, you know, Emotes, something great in the chat. We're we're raiding the legacy pet, you know. Give them give them some shout outs and stuff. But thanks everyone. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I'll see if I'll be back tomorrow live for the channel. If you haven't already, hit the follow button. You know what to do. Uh, yeah, I mean live live so much that if you haven't already hit the follow button, a lot of legacy. Also, be sure to check out the YouTube page. If you missed the VOD for today, this event will be going there, although it's going to be a pain because uh, I had to like download like five different VODs because I couldn't record for some reason. That's complicated. That's a me thing. Don't worry about that. And then lastly, if you want coaching or if you want your, your deck on stream or on a YouTube video, check out the Medify page, exclamation mark.